Venkat, I'm a software trainer and a job consultant and also an IT consultant. Now I'm going to talk about one of the latest framework that's Bootstrap. Bootstrap is one of the recent trend technology in the world of responsive designing for creating the websites. So for Bootstrap, there are a lot of openings. In this video, I'm going to show you like how the websites are created with the Bootstrap in five minutes of time. And apart from this, like uh, I'm going to show you like uh, what is the salaries and other things. Bootstrap developers are paid the highest amount of almost 104k USD per year. And apart from that, like there are lots lots of openings in the field of Bootstrap for the web for designing the webs. Let's talk about like what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a free front-end framework which is used for making fastest web websites. The reason is like it got a lot of inbuilt templates like your typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigations, and many more things. And apart from that, we don't want to write any JavaScript code from the scratch. We are able to see lots and lots of JavaScript plugins available. Just include it and you can use it. And finally, the reason for using Bootstrap is like we can go for responsive designing. You may ask me a question, what is responsive design? So responsive design is nothing but creating the website which is adaptable to any kind of screens. That's why they call it as responsive design. So in case of responsive design, you are able to see I am I am designing only one design which can be run in any kind of devices. Whereas in the adaptive design, you need to design or you need to create the websites for multiple platforms and or maybe multiple devices. The reason is like the responsive design uses the technique of relative units. So it's in the percentage format. In the static units, you got pixel format, whereas in relative units, it's in percentage. You are able to see 100%, 50%, 20%. So percentage enables you to design the websites in multiple devices. And in case of Bootstrap or the framework, we are trying to use vector images instead of the normal images. The reason for using vector images is like vector images like if you can zoom the website or you can like go with the smaller devices, the images are still the same. The pixels won't get break, so you are able to you see the actual images in a clear format. That's why Bootstrap, like in Bootstrap, we are using vector images. You are able to see lots and lots of glyph icon available in Bootstrap framework. So no need to like add for considering I want an email, an email like a picture I want. In that case, you can use an icon which is given by Bootstrap itself. In the latest framework of Bootstrap, you got lots and lots of icons available. So just use those classes to implement those icons. If you talk about the history of Bootstrap, you are able to see in the mid of 2010, your like, Twitter found Bootstrap and afterwards Bootstrap became the open source project which is announced by Twitter in 2011 and uh, the major release of Bootstrap 2 happened in 2012. In one month of time Bootstrap became the major GitHub development project and in 2013 Bootstrap 3 released and in the recent trends uh, we got Bootstrap 4 which is released in August 2017. You may ask me how we can get Bootstrap. So there are two options available, get the all the libraries and the code of Bootstrap from the website getbootstrap.com or else we can use the CDN, Content Delivery Network, the entire libraries are in the cloud computer, cloud servers, you can call it or you can access it via the URLs. You are able to see I want the CSS, no need of download the entire CSS of Bootstrap, call it, we want the JavaScript, call it. So that's how your CDN is used. And you may ask me how Bootstrap is working. It's based on the grid system. So the entire web page is created or divided, subdivided into two, 12 columns. And based on the 12 columns, I'm able to access it. Considering I want four column, you can use three option. So COL-3. If it is three columns you want, you have to use COL-4. If it is two, or if you want six, or if you want 12. So you can subdivide the entry web page into 12 columns so that you can fit the content into the website. So this is how your grid system will work. And this is the classes you have to use it for this particular grid system to be implemented. COL iPhone XL extra large for the large screen monitor. If it's a laptop or something like that, you can go for LG. If it is a kind of a tablet or something like that, go for MD. In a smaller devices, a big more kind of mobile or something like that, SM. Or no need to specify anything, it's a very small monitor, you will go for COL iPhone. 
and there are some X, yes, there is a class also available. Let's see in depth like how it is implemented. I am using the class COL XS3. In that case, in the left side picture, I am showing it. So, you are able to see it will be like shown as it is in the LG monitor, like it is a big monitor. And if it is in a laptop, it is shown as a normal one. If it is in a tablet, shown as a normal one. And if it is a, like a mobile, it is shown as a normal one. If I am using COL iPhone SM iPhone 3, in that case, it will be shown normally, but in the mobile, it will be shown in this format. In kind of a four button formats and like aligned from top to bottom. Considering I am going for COL MD iPhone 3, in that case, in tablet and mobile, it will be shown in this format and if it is a laptop or computer, it is shown in this format. This is how we will be using the classes. Bootstrap typography. Over here, you are able to see the H1 tag, H2 tag. The font and format will be different or it have a unique style in the Bootstrap framework. And if you talk about the buttons, no need to give back colors and other things. Just call the classes, automatically you will get it. You are able to see BTN iPhone primary will give the primary blue color. And if it is BTN iPhone primary in ash color, success is green, danger is red. For danger, BTN iPhone danger, warning is yellow. And like a light blue or gray blue, it's information BTN iPhone info, light, BTN light, BTN dark. And finally, if I want a link button, BTN iPhone link. That's how you'll be using the classes, inbuilt classes uh, to design your buttons. You're able to see this is a sample code I'm trying to show. I'm going to create a website. I got the head tag. In the head, I'm giving my title, meta tags. And if there is any linking, give it. And if there is any stripping, add it. So I'm going to give all the stuffs. You're able to see. So I'm going to add all the CDNs for uh, style sheet, jQuery, and also for bootstrap libraries, I'm including the CDN. My CDN is added, so content delivery network. So somewhere the libraries are there, just call it, which is placed in the head tag. And afterwards, I got my body tag available. So over here, so the, you know the meta tags and everything. Meta is nothing but, meta is nothing but, so Unicode text format, what, how the web page is. And viewport is one of the important meta tag I need to add it. So to define the width based on the device width, you just change it. So this is the one I've added. Now I've added the libraries. If there is any style needs to be added, I'm going to add it in the next level. This is your step two. So I'm trying to add the style in the head tag. Over here, you're able to see my style is here. So a navigation bar in the top with my logo and everything should be given, followed by, so I want a footer tag, yes. And I want an images to be navigated, slider. I want a slider, so carousel. So footer, I have added the footer and afterwards I got my carousel here. I got my carousel here. And if there is an option I am trying to give it, that's media. If there is any picture or something like that, what is the option you have to give it? So I gave that one in the media area. So these are the four styles I am trying to add it in the head tag. So once if it is done, your, uh, your style and also the libraries are added. Everything is added. Over here, in the style, you are able to see the navigation bar. So, I gave the options for styling it, margin bottom, border radius and everything. And afterwards, my footer tag, I gave the colors and padding style. And in the carousel, the next level is carousel. So, what is the width, minimum height, everything is given. And the media tag where I gave 600 maximum with a 600 pixel. If it is more than that, don't show the caption. So, these are the things I have given in the style. Let's move on to the body tag. I got the navigation bar in the body which is inverse. I want it in black color. Navigation inverse shows the black color and container fluid it will be used to show it is a responsive design. And afterwards I got a button. This button include a yeah, navigation like a yeah, icon bar and afterwards a yeah, logo. We are able to see it here. So I'm just reducing size. You are able to see the icon bar here. So for that, I want three icons. One, two, three. You are able to see three icons here. Okay, so three icons and a logo. So this is the one I've designed. So once I'm telling you, I'm trying to create a navigation bar, which should be in a black color. So that's why I gave navigation inverse. So navigation inverse. To make a responsive device, 
So design, I got this container fluid, I got the header now. In the header, I want one button, a icon bar buttons and afterwards a logo. So that's the one I've designed. So this is how you'll be designing your web page. So my header is ready. Now I need to make move uh, next level, like I need some of the icons. It's nothing but I'm trying to give. So I'm trying to give the menus. You are able to see a collapsible menu here. So I want a collapsible menu and the active one should be home, about, projects, contact. These things I need to add it in the LA tag. Followed by I, in the right side, I want a login text with a glyph icon, a login, a anchor tag. Okay, a link kind of thing I want. So this is the code I've written. You are able to see it here. My home is ready about projects and contact is given and followed by the glyph icon login so and it's a collapsible one the div tag is collapsible so you are able to see it's collapsible so that's why i'm trying to show it reduce the size this is the this is the viewable option in the mobile format you are able to see it here so the class is collapsible and uh, once if i click this one your menu is coming yes looks like uh, so i made my top header with a collapsible menu on clicking the icon bar you are able to see the list out now uh, we are into the core bootstrap framework implementation so my container is ready next level i'm going to add the carousel what is carousel carousel is nothing but the slider format so i'm going to add the carousel for this so a slider of uh, with the two images the first thing is like you need to give the id and it's a carousel slider i'm going to make it out and the first thing you have to give the indicator i'm going to add two indicators zero and one so two images so and afterwards i'm going to give the carousel inner what is the image i'm going to give i got two items which is a kind of a list box one image so here i give go the indicator you are able to see zero and one which is assigned to the my carousel id zero and one followed by so this is the one followed by the slides so i got two images to be added the first one is active image for shown image and the next one is the next scrolling image so specify the item as active so carousel and afterwards i'm giving the item and this is the image i'm going to give it and if there is any caption give it us so i'm going to create a website for a software company software services is the caption i'm giving so I given so for this image this is the caption I gave and let's see the output yes I got the carousel now you're able to see the carousel and it's moving on so this is the code I've written and it's nothing but the captions for the particular image so I'm trying to create the carousel so this is the carousel I've created and afterwards the caption is software services you are able to see the software services here and for the next image for the next image, you can see this, this uh, particular image is a kind of a responsive design. The image is automatically resized based on the size of the devices. Okay, this is how I have included the carousel. Now, let's talk about like, uh, we'll move to the next level. I want the buttons for this particular carousel. Let's see. So, I want some buttons. So, the left carousel control and the right carousel control. Two buttons, I am trying to integrate it. So it's a button with a glyph icon, an inbuilt icon which I'm using it, which is given in the bootstrap glyph icon chevron left. And this icon is glyph icon chevron right. So I got the uh, like a left control, carousel control and the right carousel control with the text previous and next. You are able to see the controls here. So this is the glyph icon chevron left, chevron left. That's your left control and the glyph icon chevron right. That's your right control. That's your right control. You're able to see the right control here. Okay, this is how I create the carousel. On clicking this button, you're able to scroll the images. So I gave the text as previous in the left side and the next in the right side. So now my carousel is ready. Let's move on to the content area. So I'm going to show you the next level of a container area now. Yes, so the container, I'm going to create it. And I'm giving the text if it is given, it should be in the center. And my HC tag with the Kashu Infotech projects. Good. So I got it. Next, I'm going to create a row. This is the row I've created with uh, the 12 columns, right? So I wanted three 
I need to subdivide into t, 3. So 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So CVOL hyphen SM hyphen 4 is the class I'm going to use it to make it as a 3 columns. So I got 3 images. So sorry, 2 images, 1.jpg and 2.jpg as column. And the third one, third column will have the address. So I got 3 columns now. So which is given. And I gave the images, responsive images, automatically change it. You are able to see the website designed. So I got my website here. I got my website here. Now you got three columns. SM, iPhone, SM4. Sorry, COL, iPhone, SM4. So you got three columns subdivided. You are able to see once if it is in the mobile, the automatically the responsive design is happening and you got the output like this. So this is how you are able to add your container. So once I am repeating, so I got the history tag followed by, so your row which will have three columns. So SM4, SM4 and SM4. The first column will have the images followed by the second column will have the next level of images and followed by the address or data I gave. So this is how you will be using your bootstrap. Finally, I am trying to add my footer, you are able to see the container fluid is a class I am using it with the center text added. So you are able to see the text as in the center, this is my footer text. That is how my website is created. This is how you will be using a bootstrap framework in your HTML to create it. If we talk about the companies using bootstrap, Twitter, which is a company which created this bootstrap framework, Twitter is mainly using bootstrap followed by Spotify, Hootsuite, Intuit, AdRoll, Best Buy, Bitly, Chargeify, and there are many more companies using bootstrap and at present in the market bootstrap is a major framework used in creating all kind of responsive designs if we talk about the salary they are paying 104 us 104 usd per year as a salary and bootstrap got lots and lots of job openings and if you're looking for more tutorials you can go to the website wikidiki.com slash tutorial slash bootstrap and all these links will be added in the like a description area you can check it out to go to our website Apart from that, subscribe to our website, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's uh, Wikidiki Code, and please share this to information to all your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.